So this video tutorial is going to take a look at how to work with the new Smart Ink toolbar. So here I just have uh, any folder opened up on my computer and you can see that I've got the green Smart Ink toolbar at the top right hand side of, the, of uh, my folder. I have a series of dimples right here and that allows me to move this uh, as I need to to allow me to have access to different parts of my folders. Now if I hit this drop down menu I'll see my options here because my Smart Ink is on. I can grab a pen color from here and a variety of thicknesses as well depending on your personal preference. And it's set up to work with calligraphic ink. So now I can do some writing and there aren't any issues at all because I'm using my Smart Ink. It's going to stay there on this folder until I decide it doesn't need to be there anymore. So I can either hit this clear ink option or I can hit the capture button and send it to notebook. So I'm going to hit the capture button and now when I come back to notebook I can see that the entire thing has been um, captured into notebook, that entire window and only that window. So that's awesome. I'm going to come back to this folder. Now that I'm finished I don't need this anymore. So I'm going to use my drop down menu and hit clear ink or I can pick up an eraser from my pen tray and erase. I also have options for highlighters, so this is great if you're trying to teach something specific to students. And I also have different eraser options here if I just want to erase something specific. I have eraser options just like I would if I were picking up um, something from the toolbar. I do also have on the window side with Smart Ink 1.1 a button underneath Clear Ink that says Settings. So I'm going to launch that right now. And when this is launched, I get a few different options. Like I get the option to start Smart Ink when I log in. I can turn off Smart Ink so that it doesn't come up. I can hide Smart Ink toolbars, but enable drawing over windows. So what that will do is it will get rid of this green floating tool, but I still will be able to use the Smart Ink options. I like to have it up because I'm able to see what I'm doing, but a lot of people find that the you know, several green um, tabs can be a little bit too much, so you can get rid of those. And then I can also enable drop shadows uh, for more of a 3D appearance with this option right here. And then I can clear ink notes after they're inserted. So if I'm inserting um, ink as type text, which I'll be looking at in another tutorial, then that's an option that you can have if you know that's something you're going to do. So I like the ability to change some of the settings that are available there. Doesn't matter what I'm using, it can be any program. So this is Audacity for sound, and let's say I was trying to teach my students how to use Audacity. Doesn't matter what I use, as long as my computer can open it, I can use my Smart Ink. So it's a great tool if you're teaching a variety of different pieces of software then you have the opportunity to use the Smart Ink to highlight and to work through some possibilities with your students. Then when you're done, you can clear ink or you can give yourself the option to capture that into notebook and save some permanent files for you. So that's how to work with the green Smart Ink toolbar on folders and in any application that your computer can open.